Number three, God unleashes judgment. It's not the judge himself. Now, just to show you, this is not Christ. Uh, uh, some people, well-meaning, equate the Revelation 6-2 white horse coming to earth with the Revelation 19, 11 through 15 white horse coming to earth. And, and it, it's, a, it's an easy thing to do, white horse and white horse, but that's the only similarities. This white horse is riding in to start the tribulation. It's not Christ. He rides in in chapter 19 to stop it and culminate it. This one is carrying a bow. Christ carries a sword. This one, as he's coming, is given a crown. Christ, it says, has many crowns. And he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. So this, this is not Christ. Uh, he has a bow, there's no arrows. In fact, it appears this is a bloodless conquest, that the Antichrist conquers the earth with his message of peace and no one resists him. Isn't it interesting? They resisted the real Christ, they don't resist the anti-false Christ. So there's a powerful, deceptive, false peace and it's not Christ on this horse. But that brings us to the end of verse two. Look at the end of verse two. Note the words, and a crown was given him and he went to conquering and to conquer. God allows people to have what they really want. Do you know when God warns and warns and warns and warns us and we still proceed with our own way, you know what he does? He goes, okay, you can have what you really want. You see, God gives everyone what they really deeply want. And that's the worst thing if what you want is not his way. And that's what Romans 1 is all about, that God gives the whole world. He, God turned them over to their greedy desires and lets them have what they want. Well, right here in verse two at the end, God allows people to have what they really want. Each element of the tribulation is launched here in Revelation 6 as a plan from God. It's unleashed according to his purpose and God always gives to each of us what we really deeply from the very center of our being want. Which reminds me to say, be careful what you really want. God will give you what you really want. Make sure what you really want is godly and God honoring and pleasing to him because he'll give you what you really want. Note how John says, look at the end of verse two, a crown was given. That means God allowed and sent this deceiver. Mankind has always wanted peace, but they've always been unwilling to bow to the prince of peace to obtain real peace. So God offers them a false peace and a false Christ and they bow before the false peacemaker and they worship him. That's the first horseman of the apocalypse. 